Um, so yeah, the next part is me showing, um, yeah, how you can apply like these physical properties of what um, Daniela, oh, oh, my voice is already tired, uh, <laughs> what Daniela just showed uh, and explains like how you can apply this to like your actual garment. Um, so yeah, I'll show you with the dress. So I'm just going to start super basic from scratch. Um, so yeah, if, if you have your claw open, you can even join whatever you like. Ooh. I have a question. Can, can you see the screen? Uh, I think so. I, I can see it. So let okay. everyone let us know if you can see my screen yeah. with the avatar, just a plain white avatar. Um, okay, let's see. So what I'm gonna use, oh, okay, everyone can see it, good. Yeah, thanks okay. guys. So well, I'm just going to start with a very basic female t-shirt to simulate this. Uh, I never liked this pose, so let's change the pose. Maybe this, this is nice. We have a lot of questions about the hats. Oh God, go ahead. I'm not gonna reply. I'm gonna, okay, I'm yeah, gonna we, wait. We, we can wait. <laughs> we can wait and show you later. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to very quickly uh, make a dress out of this T-shirt. Uh, cut and sew. Cut and sew. This a little bit longer. Oh, once again, I'm on a different keyboard using different kind of settings. So bear with me if I'm like pressing the wrong keys and it takes a while. Um, yeah, I don't like the. It should be longer. I like longer dresses. Twenty. Nah, even longer. What? See, this is what I mean. This was not my plan. Oh. Uh, I, oh. Feel, I feel your pain. Struggling, the everlasting struggle. Okay, uh, even though I did uh, basically nothing, I'm just, I, I just drag stuff <laughs> and drop. <laughs> Since this is not my mouse, and I, I and I was weird, right. you know, you have to get used to this. Yeah. Like when something is different, you just really have to get used to it. Okay. But so I think at least the mouse should be the same. The same, yes. yes. At least. It gives like the comfortable, like, okay, I'm, I'm kind of familiar with this thing. Yeah, I agree. Um, okay, so I made a little waistband. Let me just apply some elastic. Maybe a little bit more. Uh, strength. Let's see. 20. Maybe that's a bit too much. Eh, it's quite nice. Okay, then I'm going to make this. Delete this. Make this a little wider. So you can see the draping. Well, okay, so like I said, super basic, simple dress. You can do this, I don't know, in two minutes. I don't know how long it took mm -hmm. me now, but you can do it in two minutes. <laughs> I think it's um, even less. Yeah, I think so too. Okay, um, yeah, what Daniela said to show you better physical properties, lower your particle distance. So lowering it to 10 and you can see like it's already like draping quite nicely here um but i want to show you the different options we have so what i will do now because it's the best to see on the skirt so i'm going to freeze the top part and then i'll show you the differences okay so I'll turn simulation on and then yeah you can just check with 
random properties what is happening so for example the leather is very stiff so it gives yeah. you like a lot of yeah like this I don't even know how to say this, like just a very, very stiff fabric, very, um, how do you say this? Daniel, yeah, give I mean, me it's, uh, <laughs> I would say <laughs> stiff. <laughs> stiff fabric, okay, we'll just keep it to stiff fabric, <laughs> whatever. Um, okay, and then, but if you go to like a knit terry, then you can see like it's draping all over the foot so it's kind of heavier but then here you can see there's a lot more definition than with the leather oh, we have we have a question okay, now, okay. how important it is to have knowledge of physical fashion to create these virtual pieces i imagine it would be quite helpful to have an understanding of the more traditional approach well of course having the understanding of the traditional approach is is a plus mm -hmm. but also I would say that seeing the the like touching the fabrics, having swatches, uh, observing is also a key element. So uh, if you get used to to observe, to 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 just uh, also touch the fabric and to and to pay attention on the details, like okay, I'm wearing a t-shirt today. So this is a cotton. Mm -hmm. uh, how the cotton is draping on my body? I'm wearing denim today. How the denim is draping on my body? So also this little uh, attention to detail can definitely help. Yeah, yeah. I think you don't you don't have to have like the all the knowledge. I think yeah, just what Danielle said. Look into your closet. Look what you're wearing. Look at other people around you. What they're wearing and just check for once like oh how does this drape and yep. yeah try to recreate it in clo and see if you're able to get close to what the like your own t-shirt is looking yeah. like yeah. yeah or maybe go in uh, in uh, in stores and if you are working if you if you are working on say on a jacket or if you're working on whatever just go in stores and just stay there play touch the fabric uh, touch. try to wear <laughs> yeah it's the, this is the physical part i think that we can we can definitely have daily like uh, as well as of, of rendering for instance how to render like uh, or to create a, a, a texture that is realistic just go in a store take a jacket uh, and just observe the fabric from 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 very close and, and try to see okay how it behaves on the light and this is the mm -hmm. same uh, to me with clothes so every time that I have any doubt uh, my solution is to go on a store check the fabric and see the product on in real life yeah yeah totally agree <laughs> Uh, yeah, so is this something you guys do often? Yeah, I, I would say yes, like not on a daily basis, but yeah, whenever we're in doubt of what we want to achieve with our digital garments, it's always good to check a physical one, for sure. Um, is there a way to input the GSM weights for fabric? I don't think so. Well, this is a hot topic. Yeah. There is a way. But I made a calculation and I didn't succeed. So <laughs> I don't really know. <laughs> so if you expand on density, if there is a little triangle, if you click on that triangle, you see you see the density. You know, and the formula is gram divided square meter. So theoretically, if you have let's say a meter of fabric a square meter of fabric you know the weight then you can do the math and you can get a number and that number goes not on 27 but where is 300.00 this this is the theory i didn't succeed but maybe you guys try and just let us know yeah definitely let us know if this works. 
I didn't even know this was here. I've never tried this. Yeah, I tried a couple of times, but then I didn't succeed. <laughs> and then I was like, okay, maybe I just uh, eyeball. <laughs> yeah, it's better. Um, yeah, someone's also saying, notice the weight of the fabric, like midweight and heavyweight cotton behaves differently. Okay, let me check that. Let me just do that here. Uh, I'm trying to recreate shoulders textile. Ah, this is a challenge. Cool. Um, cotton heavy. Cotton yeah. Yeah, for sure you can see the difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is like something with like, especially like a simple dress like this, you can very easily play around with just trying out these like presets that are already here and see what kind of fabric preset is something that you like or is something that you imagine having. Yeah. I think this will do for now. Okay, and then something else. If we go more into detail um, of like creating your dress, for example, what is very useful for something like a bow. So of course, this is something you have to like or not. <laughs> but I think this is very useful to make like um, a bow or like some like knot. Um, I'm, I always like to use the physical properties because it makes them makes it look like a little bit more I don't know, like realistic and it drapes better like the way you want it to drape, I feel like for me personally. Um, so let me just create, I'm just gonna, I'm going to cheat, by the way. Great. <laughs> I love a bit of cheating in Chloe. It just makes your life easier. Uh, you can do it like the proper way, of course, but just for like a quick demonstration, I'm just going to cheat a little bit. So these are, uh, these are my patterns for my little bow I will create. Oh, wrong one. All right. Um, and then I am going to remove the link to editing here and create, because I'm, I want to make like a little bow on my waist. Um, let's see. Whoops. Okay, so make this a little bit smaller. So what I will do is do this. Now what am I doing? Okay, so I will deactivate this one because I need that one later. I'm going to sew this. So now we see like this draping is not what we want. This is not nice. We don't want this. Um, wait, let me just re quickly redo that. Okay, so I'm going to add a fabric and then I'm going to apply it here. So what I like to add with, um, for example, this bow, is the bending because what Daniela showed it makes it like if you increase these numbers it will make it more like stiff um, so for example if I do the weft and warp on 50 you can see that like the mm -hmm. shape what I want like, is definitely more stiff 
So let me just pin this for a second. Yeah, I think this is the beauty of also the knowing the fish the, 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 those little details that you don't maybe have to switch from one fabric to another. You can just uh, apply the the detail that you need, and mm -hmm. it's gonna help in the in the in the whole process. Yes, and like I I at first when i started with glow i didn't really know like i was a bit scared of like using these physical properties but honestly like it makes my life so much easier that i just know that i can use this to make like this little bow like yeah i mean it's because too many wrinkles uh, sometimes are really annoying <laughs> to to manage in the scene and and have something flat can help also understanding better what you're doing. Sorry, mm -hmm. I interrupt you. I didn't want. No, to. go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm just thinking this is way too many. Yeah. See, so I mean, this is just a very easy way to make like a little bow. Like I said, this isn't too detailed, but just like a simple change in the physical properties, just make it sit like so nice. Mm -hmm. um, and then when I go back, like I can show you the difference. Like if I go back to, I don't know, five, it's just gonna fall down. Yeah. So just like changing these two settings is making, yeah, your bow just cute, you know? Just nice, just sitting there, yeah. and, and it also just stays up, so it's not gonna fall down. It's just a very easy way. Yeah. Yeah, and you didn't have to tweak a lot of parameters. You just like uh, no. move a little the bending, and and, and that's it. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I said, the only like I just used the default fabric, and the only thing I changed really was yeah. the bending vector work. Okay, and then another detail that you can add is, for example, let me go to this side. I like this one. Is um, I want to make like a little bit of a puffy sleeve. I think it could give my dress a nice touch. Nothing. Because now it's a bit boring. I mean, I have my cute bow, but besides that, yeah, it's not really what I was looking for. Um, let me see. Now this is too little. Mm, something like that. Okay, let me do, redo that. I want to be a more up. Okay, so what I will do here, uh, where am I here, elastic, so I'm adding this elastic, so you can see it's already like a little bit puffy, uh, but yeah, the fabric is not draping very nicely. Um, so one thing you can definitely try out here is like I'll add a new layer sleeve. Whoop. And then let me just see. Again, I'm just going to try some things out, see what I like. Is this something that I like? No, because I feel like this should mm -hmm. be a bit more evident, you know, a bit more puffy. Yep. Maybe this. I'm not a big fan either. So, like we said, it's also all about trying. Like. Don't expect it to be perfect with one click and then you're ready. Let 
let's see what I can do with this stretch here. Um, so I think, let's see what the difference is if I do this 17, just see what happens. So this is definitely mm -hmm. bending a little bit more, which I kind of yeah. like. It becomes rigid, but without a being like uh, too much. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. And yeah, for example, the bending here, that's definitely not going to work. You see, like this, mm -hmm. this yep. is not at all what I want. So it really depends on what side of the fabric you're working on. Because for the bow, the bending was super nice. But for this, it's just not creating the effect that you want. So let me just create a little bit more buckling ratio because I want it to drape nicely. Can we just saw Daniela and this is... Did it change? Not too much. Not too much, yeah. Maybe you can try to um, decrease a little the stretch to allow the little wrinkles to, to 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 be a little bit more evident yeah okay let me also just do it then multiple maybe, distance yeah, to five because i feel like it's not five. really showing what i want to show yeah this is now we can better, see yes okay let me reduce this a little bit more Yeah, I like those draping. Yeah, me too. It's cute. Uh, especially in, in sportswear, there are a lot of fabrics that has this wrinkle, this shape uh, uh, that are... I call it like paper folding, you know, that are mm -hmm. very, very narrow, very pointy and um, sometimes are very difficult to create and I played a lot with stretch buckling and whatever and this is also very close to, to, to that look mm -hmm. yeah so I think this is kind of what I was going for like a little bit flowy but then you can see like this elastic definition here I like to ask a question, but the last time that we did a Twitch stream, I asked something, <laughs> and basically I don't remember if uh, if your clock crashed or. <laughs> oh God! Go ahead. What do you want to know? Can you use a realistic uh, uh, okay. simulation? Let me try. But, uh, yeah, but before trying, maybe freeze everything. <laughs> oh, and only... just just uh, the yeah, sleeve. the sleeve. Yes, yeah, and I'm so afraid to ask this. I hope that. <laughs> so everyone, I'm very sorry if I close. <laughs> but you know, this is the close life. You just have to try. Yeah, it works. It works. Okay. Yes. Your glow is still there. Yes, we saved. Okay. I don't know if I like this better or not. It's not really. No, no, I prefer the other one actually. I prefer the other one yeah. too. Yeah. And it makes my glove a little bit better, so. But yeah, just like playing around and seeing the difference. Now I got a little bit of a fabric gathering here, which I'm not too fond about. So yeah, the, so zero is not working for me, so. Let me just do this. Yeah, I think this is nice. Cool. Okay, so let me unfreeze the rest. Apply this to the other sleeve. The real box head is asking, how would you lift the sleeve a bit? Yeah, so that's a difficult thing with elastic. Because if I simulate this now, and it's like 
the Lessig kind of stuck. Mm-hmm. Um, I think honestly, what the easiest way is is to stop simulating, move it up a little bit, place it where you want it so the Lessig is on the correct place, and then simulate again. I think that's honestly the quickest easiest yeah. way to get your results because like you, of course you can like drag it until it's like on the correct place but that's just gonna take you a lot longer mm-hmm. do you agree yeah yeah absolutely 100 okay, cool. okay i'm just going to drag it down a bit because i don't like this <laughs> And then something else that I find very interesting is, let me just remove the bow. I mean, you all cut the bow. I'm just going to alter my dress a little bit. Um, Let's see. I'm going to make a little bit of a ruffle dress. Twenty was a little bit too less. Twenty-five. Twenty-seven. Yes. Okay. Same back. Twenty-seven. And then I am going to cut these. See, this is also something I find very strange. Like, why does it keep like the symmetry on this one, but not on this one? Yeah. Like, I don't get it. But okay, whatever. Me not, neither. Not part of what I want to show. Uh, just delete this bit. Okay, there's probably like an easier way to do this, but you know, who can? Oh, why is this so annoying? Okay, let me redo this. I'm just going to cancel this. Now it, it um, is symmetrical again. Yeah, now it's symmetrical and it's a little bit easier to show what I want because otherwise I'm just, it just takes way too long. Okay. this for the back sorry guys it's just taking a bit longer than i expected but you know i always have to do things right i I am enjoying watching you so (laughs) okay good (laughs) i hope everyone else is it's kind of like relaxing to watch yeah 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 yeah. Let's see what happens. Oh, I forgot the bag. Whoops. <laughs> it's therapeutic. Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, I like to see that uh, the guys here are, are agreeing with us. So maybe it's yeah, a nice way to end the day just watching <laughs> someone. Watch me relax. make a little yeah. dress, you know. Okay, so finally, I'm here. Um, so what I want to show is like, of course you have like, this is like a super simple pattern. Um, you can already see this is draping. 
okayish. I wouldn't say it's the best, but yeah, you can definitely see where we're trying to go with this. Let's do particle distance 10, make it a little bit more defined. Yeah, I mean, it already looks pretty nice. Um, one thing, of course, we can do to make this, like these foldings, I want to focus on like these foldings to make them become a little bit more realistic. One thing you can do is add, for example, elastic, make it 100%, so I'm just going in too much. And then you can see it's already a bit more defined, but I feel like it's a little bit, wow, uh, it feels a bit fake to me. Mm -hmm. like, this is not what you will see. Yeah. But you can already tell, like, the difference between, like, the first, the front part and the back part yeah. is very big. But I'm not really liking this vibe, so to redo that you can see it's coming out a little bit another thing you can do um which i think is very good like combined with like changing physical properties is adding a little bit of tension in the sewing mm, yeah um you can see the difference here Let's see maybe increase the strength a little bit yeah, the, the interesting is 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 exactly like this like uh, how to combine different mm -hmm. features to get like the most realistic draping so yeah exactly the tricky part is to really understand how to balance all those features but once yeah yeah I get the it's best just a, like, um, exactly a matter of trying mm -hmm. yeah also Old angle too, yeah, m might be, might be not. So it's, it's super interesting, like uh, how those features combined mm -hmm. can get different result. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for some things is working really well with the fold angle. I think for the gear, I'm just going to leave it as it is. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I change this too much with the fold angle, it's not going to going to be very realistic so i think i'm just going to leave this i like the tension you can already see the difference between like the top two layers and like the second yeah. and the third layer of this line so this is more like way better defined but then what i also love doing and this is a bit it might be a bit much i'm i'm going to say this already um, let me just change the color a bit so you can see it. Wait, why isn't this working? Oh, it's in my sleeve thing. Oh gosh, I didn't want that. One sec. This is the one I want. Okay, beautiful pink. We're going for pink today. And then Let me just do this on the other ones as well. So we, like at the end, we can see like the difference between the front and the back. Maybe like even tension, like mm -hmm. it's better. Let's see. Yes. Yeah. Ah, oh, the definition way better. like to do I'm just finding this angle where I can show you best hmm why isn't it giving me the angle give me the angle okay this is a good angle so I'm yeah. just focusing on this bit so I'm here what I like to do like I said this might be a little bit much is at seam taping just to make the difference between these two layers a bit more obvious. Yeah. 
but now what you can see it's like this seam taping because it's like a very it makes it more stiff it's like giving you this weird shape but the interesting thing with the seam taping is that you have the same options so if you ah, yeah, click yeah. this for detail right. you have like all these options that you have with your normal fabric you can just do it for just that little part of seam taping so i'm going to make my seam taping a little bit bigger it again. but like i said it's giving me these weird angles that i don't want um so let me see if I increase this to 50, for example, mm, it's not changing much. Let's see. What else? Maybe this. So I want it to be like more stiff, that it's becoming like this one line, and then that the the fabric underneath, like the second pattern piece, it's just draping nicely, like on top. So, to make it a little bit more stiff, let's see, this is working. And then this one. So, I feel like it's doing a little bit, but it can be more. It can be more. Yeah, yeah, subtle zero ten. Yeah, it's like uh, yeah, the concept of, of adding interfacing. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. True. Yeah. So now, like, you can see. Okay. Yeah. 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 So if I go back, make a screenshot. Do it like the Daniela way. Let me just make this search for my screenshot tool. I love how you show this. This makes it so much clearer. Okay. So now, you can see like. Can you see this? Yes, right? Yes. Okay. You can see it's very wobbly. It's like look, going like this. I don't like, especially this bit. I don't like this. I don't want this. So when I increase this bending to 80, because before it was on 50, you can see like this yeah. makes it so much yeah. more yeah. straight. So if I place like this next to each other, yeah, definitely. See, like this line is just bang. Yeah. So this is what I want. So let me just add that to these two. Yeah, and working with physical properties can really help on working on, on these little details. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just like these little details that make your garment just look a lot more realistic. Yeah, yeah. Increase the size as well to 20 millimeters. Which tool do you mean? Uh, subtle zero? What like the, the, the um, oh, so I'm seam using taping? Seam taping. So if you click on whatever seam you have, you have the option to do seam taping. And then, like, this is usually not. Uh, Oh, the snapshot. Um, honestly, it's called snipping tool. It's just a very basic Windows yeah. tool, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no idea. There is also a shortcut on Windows, uh, which is uh, it should be Windows Shift S, I guess. Okay, I don't want to try. I'm scared. <laughs> no, don't try. <laughs> oh. I thought it was a close ID feature. No, no, no. This ah, is no, just no. a very basic <laughs> thing of my PC. Okay, so I don't want to actually see the seam taping. So if you go here, I don't know if people know this. I didn't know this at first. You can just unclick this so you can't really see like this orangey thing in your 3D screen. So yeah, I think this definition is nice. It looks a lot more realistic. Like compared to the back. Okay, let's see. Front, new, back, old. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. And like this is not taking me very long. It's just tweaking small things, testing out things. 
because like I said, with the elastic port on the waistband, I think looks pretty nice. It gives them good details. But then for like these ruffles, I just didn't really like it. So I'm just trying out other things, trying out things with tension, seam taping. Yeah, and then going into detail mm -hmm. with the seam taping as well. Yeah. Okay, let me just make this physical properties wonderful world of physical properties <laughs> yes